Good morning everyone and welcome to another Disney World vlog. We are off to Animal Kingdom today uh, for the first time this trip. For those of you who are new, my name is Ben and this is Matt. Uh, I make Disney World vlogs, uh, essentially just highlighting the amazing experiences that we have as we explore the parks. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe so that you can uh, be up to date whenever I post a new vlog. Uh, so today, as I said, we're off to Animal Kingdom and we are going to be having a dining reservation at Yak and Yeti. Excited for that. Which is going to be nice. Um, a bit of a slow start this morning, uh, just because it was a late long for Jollywood Nights yesterday. Uh, so, I'm not really in a rush. We really want to be at the park when it's dark so we can see the uh, Tree of Life Awakening and even explore Pandora in the dark because I know the like illuminous, illuminous uh, paint on the ground, like lights up in the dark, so really want to experience that. Obviously once that's finished we're going to hop over to probably Epcot. Um, we'll play it by you. See how, see how the day the day takes us. See how the day takes us indeed. And it looks like the yo-yo is having, having a clean. A little touch up. Get out of the tree. Oh yeah, he's got a little bit of a paint. Paint, paint job. Got to keep looking fresh. Absolutely. Hey, this area is being refurbished for your future enjoyment. That yo-yo does give me a lot of enjoyment. <laughs> Jumbo and Seasons greetings. Welcome aboard the Walt Disney World transportation system. This holiday safari is heading to Disney's Animal Kingdom. They were doing some work to the road where the buses are at Pop Century. So they asked us to essentially board underneath the awning, like by reception. And our bus driver was essentially the first one to come through. She's um, not happy. She was not happy. She was like, am I the first one <laughs> on the bus? No. There's too many chiefs here. Just let me do my thing and drive my bus. I know what I'm doing. She was a very experienced bus driver who uh, knows knows more than uh, essentially the people telling her what to do. Nice, warm, sunny day. It's a lovely, warm, sunny day. I'd say, you know, if you are coming in the end of November, December, be prepared for fluctuating temperatures. Absolutely. Pack for the cold. Pack for everything. Well, actually, we haven't had um, most of the winter touch any rain. Oh, yeah, actually. And that is one big tree. So pretty. Wearing on your head. <laughs> I know, I said I'd rain in the Christmas reactions. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Go ahead and get your finger scanned in there. Looking for the green, because green means go have a wild time, right? Oh, he's thinking about it. I know. Still thinking about it. Yeah, hold it there, hold it there, it's going to time out or it's going to give us green, right? Yeah. Okay, well that's fun. Let, let's, let's have this you try one. that one. There we go. There we go. Great. Thank you very have much, you too. Do we want you in Animal Kingdom? Mm, unsure. Really Let me about think, it. About it. Yeah. think about it. Think about it. Okay, you can come in. <laughs> there she is. Tree of that. That beautiful tree of life. Oh, let the things are out. The puppets. Uh. Here he comes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 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 oh, I think he's waving hi. Oh, hello! Yeah. Amazing! Like bonk. bonk! He's pretty bonky. <laughs> <laughs> you too! Yeah. 
Again, as part of D3, D23, they announced that Tough to Be a Bug is going to be reimagined to Zootopia. Um, so maybe we'll have to do that just in case it goes before the next time we come back. It's an icon attraction, in my opinion. I remember doing that when I was a little kid. The little bugs running under your seat. Yeah, the kids hated it, but okay. the kids hate it. Rosa doesn't like it on um, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway when it you get the electric. The yeah. uh, so we're walking towards Asia. We're going to go do Everest. Everest, should we go do Everest first? Yeah. It's only, it's like only 15 minutes. 15 minutes, great. Uh, also, as part of the D23 announcements, they announced the dinosaur is going to get a retheme to Indiana Jones, and that whole area of Dino Land is going to be reimagined for like Indiana Jones, like Encanto, and things like that. Definitely needs a bit of love. Does need a bit of love. Oh. There's been some talks about it um, being reimagined for ages, so it's all concept at the moment, but we will wait and see. And so there's Yak and Yeti restaurant where we're going to go eat in about an hour. Yeah. Say, it is not sporting around Adam Spencer. Yeah, it is. Very massive. Yeah. Like trees and <laughs> trees. I like trees. Buildings, signs, uh, fitting. I've just got the odd animals here and there, like the monkeys just coming out. Yeah. There are two monkeys out today. A little bit chilly for that. No monkeys. No monkeys. It's a great view. Let's photo pass it. And photo pass we did. Twenty minutes. Jingle. Do you know what uh, Animal Kingdom could do with? A Moana attraction. <laughs> yeah. I've heard one of them. Maybe one, you know, one they just walk through and touch some water. I reckon that'd be really nice. Like, no, I don't think about nature. Park, to be with you. No. Maybe better suit for Epcot. If you're listening, Disney. It's a very... I don't know what the word is. Do you know what I'm trying to say? You know... It's very... Um, it's just a great queue, that's what I'm trying to say. But I'm trying to. No. No. Not instructive. Insightful? Insightful? No. I, I, 
kind of in talks about educational. Educational. No, that's what those words that you said mean, but that's not what I was trying to imply. More like kind of like immersive, but not immersive. Narrative. That was the word I was looking for. The queue for Everest really sells the attraction that you're queuing for. Attention, expedition Everest team members. Once on board, secure all gear in the cargo bag in front of you. Lovely day. I have two favourite parts of Everest. This is my first favourite. The first backwards stint is great. I always underestimate the intensity. <laughs> and that's my second favourite. When you come out of the darkness at the photo op, I always forget how steep that drop is. Don't just take our words for it. Our messed up hair speaks for itself. Yeah, when you come out and take your picture, I completely forgot about the picture being there as well. <laughs> it's a good job we forgot about the photo because it wasn't great. So uh, no, we were right, right at the back, so it didn't really um, catch us. Did you imagine that was still not working? Yeah. It's Sit, it's not having fun. Did you charge it last night? Uh, no, I didn't. Really it's. The battery's dead. It's so. What's buzz? Oh. Matt and I both had issues with our magic bands this trip, where they weren't connecting with our phones. Both. Matt and I both had issues with our magic bands this trip, where they weren't connecting with our phones. Both times it was due to the battery actually being dead, even though we had charged them the night before. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> the tree! How many animals are on the, uh, the tree? I don't know if we ever found out, did we? We googled it. Um, 150. No, I feel like it's like 498 oh, well or something. It's pop quiz time. Do you know how many animals are carved into the tree of life? Is it A, 150, B, 325, or C, 498? The answer is B, 325. We got Starbucks! Uh, what was this? A it was a mango dragon, dragon fruit, fruit with lemonade. lemonade. Refresher. And it is refreshing. <sighs> Actually, very nice. I think we had this before. Did I have this before on Main Street? Yeah, because we got I think we got a strawberry one and a Yeah, I have a picture of me trying to hold it up in front of the yeah, castle. Where's the tree? Let's do it, let's recreate it with this one. <laughs> <laughs>
coordinate a stop and sip. Completely unplanned, I swear. Just had our photo done at some to hidden gem. This side of the tree. We had one here when we came in May. Yeah. Um, so there's a tree there. <laughs> oh, you do look cold. <laughs> he told me to be cold, so I was cold. <laughs> That was the second photo pass photographer who told us to act cold. The first one was in Magic Kingdom when it actually was cold. You can see both photos now. Can you tell which one was actually cold or was our acting just that great? Yeah, yeah. so great little hidden location with photo pass person uh, there. Low no queue or anything. Nice in uninterrupted views. Sounds like someone's coming down the river. Nope. These uh, ancient statues look familiar. They do, don't they? They look like they are from paradise. Hey, Rowan. Squirrel. We've just perched ourselves literally right outside Yaki Yeti, uh, waiting for check in. Check in time which uh, so you can check in 20 minutes before your reservation. So we've got a reservation at one, so that means we can check in in like at 20 to one, which is essentially in one minute. Um, and every time we've checked in, uh, we've been early for every, all of our reservations. We have been. Um, and they set us, they seated us right before our reservation time, which is always yeah. really good. So uh, can't fault it. No, I imagine, you know, their reservation system is not as, you know, like a normal restaurant back in like London or whatever. You've got table turn times. Serving and turfing. Serving and turfing, exactly. Whereas here, I think it's just to stagger. Yeah. We've got enough dining space. Yeah, because none of all the restaurants we've been to, there have been empty tables. It's yeah. not like the, every table's been full. Anyway, it's uh, 22. It's a sort of festive uh, welcome screen. So, Yaki and Yeti, start checking. Two adults, no mobility accessibility, no dietary requirements, and no celebrations. And we're all checked in. Thanks for checking in. So, uh, we'll get a push notification once again when our table is ready. Just received a push notification. So, it doesn't necessarily say that your table's ready, it just says that there's an update about your reservation. So tap to have a look. So we cut, tapped, and now it, see it says table is ready. So we're gonna head into the Akinyeti restaurant. It's very exciting. Thank you very much. Let's check out the menu. Fried wontons, they look good. Some pad thai. I never know the best way to show menus. Do I read it out? Do I just hover? Well, this time you just get a hover. They're very fancy hand dryers in there. Do they? They're like, almost like a pair of handlebars that you hold on to. Oh, fancy. I think I'm gonna go for the honey chicken. Tempura chicken, fresh vegetables, sauce and a honey sauce with rice. 
So we got the pork pork egg rolls yes. to start off with. Though a bit awkward that there's three and there's two of us. Always the way, isn't it? It's either three or five, it's never two or four. No. But they look very good. Comes with some kind of like chili dipping sauce. Nice. They're hot. Those egg rolls were outstanding. They're like best. Like what's the difference between an egg roll and a spring roll? Are they the same thing? Not that I'm aware of. But best egg rolls slash spring roll I've ever eaten. So uh, would hundred oh, percent recommend. They were delicious. Got the Thai chicken basil. That's massive. A huge portion. So this is like a serving bowl. This is a serving bowl. bowl. Oh, yours looks good. And I got the honey chicken. I'll make some chicken stuff. Super, thank you. Get over. How much food it is. No. Got a bit of food envy there, to be honest. Oh, you can have some of this. I mean, I'm sure actually, your chicken looks great. Let's get some chicken. Need a small piece here again. Very nice chicken, nice. Very nice. So he said we'd have a look at the dessert menu. So we got fried wontons with fresh. Well, so skewers of fresh pineapple and cream cheese wontons, vanilla ice cream, honey vanilla drizzle, New York cheesecake, pineapple upside down cake, chocolate pudding cake, mango key lime cheesecake. I don't think, no. Not for us today. We were absolutely stuffed from our main courses. To be honest, I'm still quite full now. For two people with a entree and two drinks and essentially a main each come to 72.48 with an annual pass discount of five dollars ten cents. Not too bad. Essentially thirty-five dollars per person. Okay. How would you rate your meal at Yaki Yeti? I loved it. It was great. Really, really nice food. Portions were huge. Yeah, we saying so the table money. next to us, we thought, oh, they're doing like family style and sharing. But no, actually, that was just the size of portions. Yeah. For people. But it was great. But so, value for money was, yeah, really good. Mm -hmm. I would definitely really recommend eating there because the food was great and, yeah, it wasn't too expensive either. So, 100% recommend to a friend. Definitely. You know what? It was so good, I'd even recommend it to non-friends. We're now going to head over to Pandora because the Fire Passage, Fire Passage is only 35 minutes apparently, so I'm um, going to make the most of that reduced wait time. I feel like you're in a different country. Yeah, I mean we are in a different country. Uh, I'm in <laughs> America. Imagine working here all day and then leaving the park, hopping in your car and going back to yeah, normality. urban. It's uh, very peaceful this walk uh, from uh, the path by the Festival of the Lion King into Pandora. No, no people, no peoples. He says walking into the <laughs> okay, you can see all the, the rabble now walking the opposite way. Welcome to Valley of Moa. Moara, Pandora. And she is. Probably not. Uh, needs to be on like that side. I bet the wait time's gone up from 35 minutes now because everyone's been like, 35 minutes, go, 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 just like us. Let's get past these people with the stroller. 
it is 35 minutes. 35. It's um, like enough to just be able to say to all of the classes, but also the names on their band. So. Hi Ben. Hi Katie. I mean, you could do that. Nothing stopping you doing that. Yeah, I'll try it out and see, see what the response is. It was like that woman that um, when we went to Starbucks, as soon as she told her your name for the coffee, she was like, have a great day, Matthew. Can yeah. I get you anything else, Matthew? That'll be, that'll be $13, Matthew. Makes it all that more personal, doesn't it? Yeah, although I feel like sometimes when someone addresses you by name, it feels a bit awkward. Especially for people like, well, when you do it. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, it's like, mm, why are you doing it? It's just me and you. Like, who else would you be saying thank you to? <laughs> I had a friend uh, who always use your name in, in any context. Like, oh, hi, Matthew, how are you? Or, yeah, oh, thanks, Matthew. Or, just like that. I, I quite, quite like it. Yeah. When I was at uni, there was a, a group of us, and then like there was this other guy who we didn't know the name of, who like his name. As soon as we found out, this uh, my friend was literally like using it at every opportunity to be like, "Do I know your name? Yeah, I know your name." We're gonna come back later when it's dark and see everything all lit up, and hopefully it's uh, very pretty. I think these things here are like UV lights, mm. and then you got like the paint on here, which is uh, oh, reflective. So. You get to experience that because when we came, both times we've came before, it's never been dark when no, no, no. the park or like Animal Kingdom's open. You might just ask whether or not we think Fire Passage or Rise of Resistance has longer like queue. Um, we think Pandora, like Flat Passage, but um, I feel like we stopped, well, in the previous experience, we've stopped on Flat Passage a lot more, like a lot further back than we've ever done oh, yeah, with Rise of Resistance. Yeah. yeah. Um, which I've been thinking that we've actually been quite lucky with our queue for Rise of Resistance. We've never really had to queue far back. No, I think there was that one time where we went down. But yeah, and we and you made a friend, <laughs> made a friend on a scooter. Her. But no, every other time it's been pretty, pretty straightforward flight. Flight, flight of passage. <laughs> we were just talking about rise of resistance, though, weren't we? Yeah. Let's see, we're already into like the lab area. Yeah. Which is the. <laughs> The or closest to the ride we've ever had to stop in terms of the queue area. Because once it's through there, it'll just straight up or down the ramp or something. Yeah. Five, five to two. So, in theory, we should be on a half past two. Watch the space. Watch the space, indeed. I mean, it's a very inefficient lab. Where's all the people working? Hello. Oh, no, lunch break. For the last, what, year? <laughs> yeah. We've just timed it badly and they've never uh, been here never when... Been around. Been here. Look at the thing. Oh, oh. Activity slowed, water is clean. It's clever. Well, this one is... Doing anything. Move! Move! Give him my best Vernon Dursley impression there. <laughs> Gonna link over to an avatar. So, yeah, so now we're going up the ramps. And that's been five minutes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Have we always gone up? Have we ever gone down? I, I think we have gone down, but I only once the majority of the time we've always come up. We have come up. <laughs> Yellow. Three. Portable water. Suppression agent F3. Nitrogen. Decon fluid. <gasps> we just damaged it. Disney. The victim from the park. So it might actually be. It's light switch. I oh, know it's a wire. I saw a wire. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> We're facing some technical difficulties. It appears that someone, someone has switched it off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because they would just have a uh, <laughs> the main switch in a queue. <laughs> Maybe it's an interactive moment. Yes. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. Woo, woo, woo. Emergency. Okay. Seal genetic matching room. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikra, or as we call it, a Banshee. But first, we have to scan you for Pandoran microparasites. All right, everyone, stay on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay, start scan. You've all got them. Yeah. <laughs> But don't worry, uh, they're very common around these parts. Uh, let's start the decon. Initiating GMR decon. Stay still over your number, you're not gonna feel a thing. You're doing great. Almost done here. They're all clear. Great. First, we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. Restraints This scene has always been really blurry to me. I saw online a lot of people have said the same thing and report that it wasn't always like this and suggested that the ride needs some maintenance to bring it back up to opening standards.
step off the link chair, gather your belongings, and exit the link chamber. Enjoy your ride on a banshee. I love to buy ride on a banshee. Oh yeah, that's great. Very clever. And like you were saying about how the mist kind of like is very accurate as well. Like you see some of like those rides where it's where it sprays water, like Rest 2 for example, it's not I don't think the timing's as seamless oh, as yeah, the no, where this like, one I was getting splashed. Yeah, back you literally place. like fly through the mist in the, the video yeah. and it actually feels like you actually are but yeah I know sometimes it can be hit and miss yeah. on Pandora depending on like the seat the location but I think that was probably one of the top yeah top I mean I'm that... right on the end of the row and sometimes yeah, for you example see the... like saw him when you're on the end it's like you see the, the curve, and yeah, it's curved, but more than the, but that one, no, 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 no issues at all. It was great fun, loved it. Yeah, and we're out at half past, so that was 35 minutes in and out. So great. Okay. Avatar Spirit Jersey, but this is the way of water one, isn't it? Mm. What's on the back? Mm. Nice if you're an Avatar fan. Yep. Oh, that thing's been dressed up like <laughs> Father Santa, Christmas. Santa's hat and Santa's beard. Santa's hat and Santa's beard. Oh, and they got like Christmas decorations out there. Oh, yeah. That's fun. I'm gonna stop off for a uh, beverage. Beverageino. I'm gonna get the Night Blossom. Where are you gonna go? Um, Amazing, thank you so much. You too. Doing this one because it's got less boba. Yeah, sure. Oh, this is fun. I'm going to take a picture in front of Pandora. And take a picture I did. Remember to follow me on Instagram. In front of the, the rock. We're gonna try our baby. Nice. Well, it's very nice. It's very fresh. Very fresh. Ooh. It's a bit chilly. You no, know, I taste that. Um, uh, drumsticks. Those, what? Drumsticks. Yeah, they're like sweet and sour yeah. drumsticks. The, the, Not like a normal one. No, the, the uh, like the, apple these ones. colour ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The apple and strawberry or apple and cherry. Mm. Mm. Nice. We've mixed yours up. Oh. Ah, I got brain freeze. Ooh, it's cold. Now some may say stop drinking it if it's cold and giving you brain freeze. And to that I just say, never. It's too delicious. So fari, so goody. <laughs> well, which one are you guys eating? Because that could be a little bit. 10 minutes. Hello. Hello. Great name. What did you say? Hi Matt, great name. Oh. I'm a big fan of all these walk-on rides that we're going on. <laughs> so we've had to queue all the way back there before. Yeah. The last time we snaked all the way around. Oh yeah. Really cut that out. You mean you go out the hut and then you come back in? Yeah. But that was just a long time. My friends on the right hand side, watch your hands, arms, feet, and legs. That door is going to be sliding shut today. Giving you ride door closures as well as opens. You know, just giving you all the angles. Did you know that a hippo can run up to speeds of 32 miles an hour, making it the fastest land mammal? 
Get it? That fact from Jungle Cruise? Yes, my application to be a Jungle Cruise skipper is currently pending. While you are keeping those cameras ready, make sure to hold them tight, because if you drop it overboard, I cannot stop, so we will have to be like Elsa and let it go. <laughs> but over here on the right hand side, we are going to see our Okapi. At first glance, the Okapi looks like it might be a distant cousin of a zebra because of those striped pants, so they're actually more closely related to a giraffe, and that is because of their skull structure. And on the left hand side, we're going to see two of our bongos. On top of this hill up here, you are going to be able to see our black rhino. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. The black rhino can actually weigh up to no, 5,000 pounds, but there's only about 3,000 of them left in the world today because they are extremely susceptible to poaching. On the right hand side, though, we do have our pink back pelicans down there. And don't worry, guys, I know they're gray. However, when they spread their wings, they have very, very naturally pink backs, so those pink backs do help them out a lot during mating season. It also kind of gives off the illusion that they're blushing, and that's why I like to call them the Valentine's Day bird. Over here on the right-hand side, that is at one of our Nile hippopotamus. You're actually going to be able to see one swimming over here on the left as well. Did you know that a hippo can run up to speeds of 32 miles an hour, making it the fastest land mammal? Get it? That fact from Jungle Cruise? Yes, my application to be a Jungle Cruise skipper is currently pending. Our now hippopotamus can actually weigh up to 5,500 pounds. But while it does have that very substantial mass, it's also known to be a great swimmer. Although sometimes swimming is just too much work for them, so instead they'd rather just sink to the bottom of the water and walk along the floor. After all, they can hold their breath for up to eight minutes at a time. Over here on the left hand side, once more. There are, those are our Nile crocodiles. So our Nile crocodiles can grow just as long as a giraffe is tall. And that is anywhere from 15 to 20 feet long. And just like my teenage brother, they can eat half of their body weight in one sitting. And now my friends, the moment you've all been waiting for. The back side of water. On our left water. hand side, that's my favorite pile of rocks. <laughs> Some say it's one of our boulder attractions. It was a solid one, wasn't it? <laughs> Is this in the jungle cruise? We do call a group of them a tower. So you might say that a group of them is a tower of terror. Uh, I know, I'll be here all day guys. Over here on our right hand side, that is our African elephant. You can always tell it's an African elephant by their ears. Their ears are actually in the exact same shape as the continent of Africa. And a lot of times it does look like they are saying hello to us by the way that they flap their ears. What they're actually doing is cooling down their body. They can actually cool down their body anywhere from 13 to 15 degrees by doing that. So you might say that they have ear conditioning. I know, I know. What can I say? I'm going to drive really slow over this bridge though because you might be able to see them again. And this is typically a really good picture spot. I can't stop, but I can go yeah. slow. <laughs> Some more of our African elephants over there as well. Our African elephants also have a 19 month gestational period. Now the next animal ready to say hello to you guys today is going to be our greater flamingo over here on the left hand side. Our greater flamingos do get their pinkness from the beta carotene found within side shrimp. So a lot of times when there are fishermen fish around, they'll look to see just how pink they are because the pinker they are, the more abundant and shrimp are in that area. Do y'all know what we call a group of flamingos? A uh, flamboyance, that's right. And if you guys notice, they all have little numbers wrapped around their legs. My personal favorite is number 22. I call her Taylor Swift. I knew that was coming. Did you see it? There's actually a hidden Mickey there. Hi, my name's Ben and you're watching Disney Channel. We are going to be able to see the ostriches up close today. Oh, looks like they're crossing the road. <laughs> Anybody know why the ostrich crossed the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> That's right, to get to the other side. <laughs> and they can run speeds of 35 miles an hour. Wow. Now there is another animal that can go 35 miles an hour, and that's our white rhinos. So our spotted cheetahs can run up to 75 miles an hour, and they can go Fuck zero to 60 no. in just three seconds. Yes. And yes, that is much faster than our truck today will ever go. However, they can do it, just not for very long, because after all, that's a lot of energy to put out for one animal. So our lions can actually rest anywhere from 15 to 20 hours a day, so we actually don't even get to see them every single time that they're out. Because they like to rest so often, and that is simply because, well, one, I think we can all agree, it's pretty hard work being the king of the jungle. That's the most animals we've seen. Wow. Safari. Safari. Great safari. 
very far. Yeah, good old Chris as well. With a K. With a K. And it's related to Kardashian. Yeah. So yeah, that's the you best. Can be uh, tell the difference between like hot days, hot, yeah, hot days, and essentially lower the cooler ones like today. <clears throat> so the three o'clock safari, perfect time to do it. Should we go do Gorilla Falls? Yeah. Thank you. Flipping the fanny pack. <laughs> Flipping the fanny pack. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's so cool! <laughs> you seeing something like that? Nope. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Monkeys! Look at the monkeys! Hello little monkey! Ah, oh, naked mole rats. Underneath the little rock. Oh, yeah, up there. He's watching you. He's watching me. He's ready for his close up. Yeah, I know. No, you don't because you can't see him. He's there. Take my word for it. This one is an Emperor Scorpion. Oh, here we are, right in front. Oh uh, yeah, right there. Uh, dumb Ground by a snake. There he is. Under the rock. Yeah. Very uncomfortable, what would I do? Hello. Hello. We do have one male hippo in here, but he did just go around the corner out of the water. He's looking for more snacks. Uh, there aren't any over there, so he should come back around the bend, but I don't know when he will. <laughs> okay. So right. That was him making that noise. Was so. it? Yeah. Yeah. We call it a wheeze honk. <laughs> it's like there's night food. trying to talk to another hippo on the other side, or he's <laughs> angrily calling for food. <laughs> he's getting hangry. <laughs> we well, can all relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> Got an interesting view over here. Up in that tree is one of our own See both of them. Well, you see the arms of the other one in like the bushy bit? Oh, yeah. Oh. I wonder if they're the same ones in that Animal Kingdom show, you know, on Disney Plus. I remember watching that and they was like, had the gorillas. Yeah, I wonder if they're the same. Famous. Oh, actually, no, I do remember. I think it was one of them, like a newborn, yeah. Mm. I wonder if they're the same ones. Oh, wonder, was it what, like, it's one of their birthdays or something and they get them like a... Not a cake, but like, oh, yeah, and then does. the other one tried to eat it, and he was yeah. like, no, it's my birthday, like, kind of thing. Uh, there's a better look at the ones in the tree. Oh. And look at this one, he's on the move. That's good. Lots of animals again. Gorillas were out in uh, in force. So you can be in force because they're in the same uh, gorillas. Uh, gorillas. 
Yeah. See all the gorillas? That's where indeed. Ten to four. Ten to four. Ten to four. This evening is 5.29. 5.29. So we may find out what time the Tree of Life Awakenings is because the apps and actually say it just says at dusk. Have a little bit of a wonder. Again, not really got anything on our list to do. Just enjoying the time being here. One of Kevin's out today. Oh yeah. Can we go find Kevin, see where she is. The awakening of the tree of life is at 6.15 every 15 minutes or so. So that's which was quite close seven. Yeah. It's seven o'clock today. Just consult my app, seven o'clock, yes. So, I say just mill around, maybe go do yeah. Tough to be a bug. Um, then the sun will go down at half five, you say? Half five. Half five. Then we can do Pandora again, and then head over for Awakening of the Tree of Life at 6.15ish, or past that time. We're also going to do dinosaur because that's supposed to change soon as well. Um, again, no date when it's actually going to close, but who knows if it's going to do it when. <laughs> These I, squirrels. There's so like an influx of squirrels at the moment across all parks. Didn't they like reintroduce them? Into no, not reintroduce them, but because wasn't there like grey squirrels? Or, and then they were overrun with grey squirrels, so they brought in red squirrels to try and get rid of them. And well, then, I didn't do a very good job. But then the red squirrels <laughs> then became the mass. Before we made that up. There were once 3.5 million red squirrels across the UK, but the introduction of ornamental grey squirrels from the US in the 1870s has left just quarter of a million reds, mostly in Scotland. The larger greys carry a pox disease which is deadly to reds and also outcompete their smaller cousins. So not a made-up fact, but just not relevant for the US. It's tough to be a bug. <laughs> oh, are we going to walk past that? No. Oh, this does have a great picture. Uh, are we still watching us? No, I don't. Oh, he's following our head. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> Hello, little friends. <laughs> Where he's sat. King Julian. <laughs> Wrong franchise. Grab your bug eyes, head all the way down. Thank you. The part of the stink bus will be played by Henry the Groom. Yeah. 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 Tough to be a bug, it's quite scary. Well, I was gonna say, it, it doesn't surprise me that you know, multiple parents and yeah, kids take leaving it. throughout. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's uh, quite terrifying. It some is. Um, was, were they changing it to or Zootopia? To? No, no, it's confirmed to be Zootopia. Oh, uh, that'll be a little bit more, yeah, kid friendly. Yeah, a bit more friendly. The bugs are a little bit <laughs> scary, scary, but the um. I mean, it's very dated, and like you could see that Flick wasn't working as well. And there used to be, a, I swear, there was a Hopper animatronic, which wasn't. That does ring a bell, actually. There, um, so he's obviously kaput. So like, let's let's get rid of it. Yeah. Um, one thing I did notice is though, when they brought down the Black Widow spiders, it had Black Widow symbol from like the Avengers on it. So whether or not that's a nice little Easter egg or. Like, they've always been there, I, 
I don't know, but I did notice that on their bellies it had a uh, Black Widow's uh, symbol. Just a nice little uh, like connection if it was true. It turns out the Black Widow symbol is actually a reference to the markings of the Black Widow spider. So what I initially thought was a Marvel Easter egg turns out to just be a real nature symbol. Dinosaur land? Dinosaur land. Could do dinosaur. They should bring back a nighttime show uh, to Animal Kingdom. Well, uh, I just feel like they should have. I mean, something. they've got that auditorium, but uh, obviously they can't have fireworks really because of the animals. So yeah. they should bring drones over to uh, like Disney World. I mean, there's a massive call for it, and how popular the Paris show is. And then they've just launched it in uh, Frozen Land, uh, World of Frozen, over in Hong Kong. Um, so they should just bring it here and they like perfect park for it. Good face. We were heading straight to Dinosaur where I got distracted by two cute little chipmunks. So it'd be worth getting that just because, um, I mean, I'm assuming that the, the footage was actually viewable. It wasn't, but here's the picture. We met Chip and Dale in their dinosaur costumes um, and thought it would be worth doing that because obviously Dino Land is going again, don't know when, but who knows, they might keep those costumes but they might be retired and they come out for like, maybe like Halloween parties or something. Uh, on to dinosaur. On to dinosaur. We're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it. <laughs> I actually really enjoy that ride. It throws you around so much, like relying on that seatbelt very much. <laughs> no, it's a good one, it's a funny, it's a funny one. It's it'll be so yeah. it'll be a good one they rebrand it into yeah, uh, Aubrey's female. It's actually very difficult to see. Well I think it's very difficult to see yeah. a lot in there. Um, it's so dark. So going back to our previous conversation around like a nighttime show, like because they got the open space, so they don't need to necessarily do all the drone stuff in the sky. They could bring it down yeah. to like the water level and combine it with floats, boats. It just seems like such a waste and a disused space. Yeah. And obviously they have like the boats that come around during the day, but it's got to be auditorium. It's got to be on a on a pin board somewhere in in yeah the offices of Animal Kingdom, Imagineering. What to do? What to do? We're back on Everest for a second ride. A bit scary to do with your eyes closed.
I always thought that this clip needs to come before we hit the broken track at the top of the mountain. I'm not really sure where this broken track is implied to be in the remainder of the ride. I think my hair kind of sums up that ride. <laughs> Windswept and interesting. Because Loved I'm it. worth it. Great. Approaching that dusk time, they've started to light the lanterns, which looks very pretty. So as we're going to hop over to Epcot after Animal Kingdom, just purchased us individual lightning lanes for Guardians, so we can go on that when we uh, get there. You just notice that they're like banshees that they've like made. Just come out of the uh, fire passage and it's dark, so we get to see Pandora at night. This is a bit more what I was expecting with the light up oh, yeah. brand. This is cool. Look. Look. Oh, look at my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what I was expecting with the light up brands. Very cool. I was just expecting the actual rock to be lit up more because it's not very much uh, really lit up at all. And when you get a photo pass, uh, photos take a photo in front of it, they send you through a, like, a candid, like, well not candid, like, stock photo. Uh, and one of them is it at night, and it's lit up, like, a lot more than, essentially, it is now. There's the photographer over there. Now that Pandora had been explored at night, Matt and I headed over to watch the awakening of the Tree of Life. I'm <laughs> 
The Tree of Life shows were nice, not my favourite, but it was nice to see illuminations on this park icon. Bye Animal Kingdom! Bye Animal Kingdom! Because it's tree in the background. Bye. We uh, enjoyed the Tree of Light Awakening. The last show was the best. Yeah, the one with the fox. With the fox. Very cute. It's very sad at the end when he was like, oh, no friends. And then they all came and celebrated with him. It was great. Very good. Yeah. Very pleased we got to see it. Yep, and we're now going to hop over to Epcot for the evening. Guess where we are? There's the ball. Woo! Back at my favourite park, at my favourite time of day. So I can see Spaceship Earth all lit up and looking pretty. Hi there, good evening. Thank you very much. Hi. That atmospheric music, there's nothing like it. Excuse me. <laughs> Insert a joke here about who forgot to pay the electric bill. <laughs> they announced, I think it was two days ago, that the area um, world celebration will be opening on the 5th of December. So the same day that the new Lifetime show debuts. And obviously, not when we're here, which is very sad. But they had no date for Communicore, uh, so the the building for when that's going to open. So it'll just be the internal like area with the fountains and Walt's statue. So it'll be something that we get to look at next time we come. Realise I probably just triggered a lot of Epcot fans by mentioning the F word. World Celebration no longer has any fountains, which a lot of people aren't happy about. 
we have just popped in connect to Connections Eatery. Uh, just to grab a quick bite to eat. We're going for um, both the kids' meals uh, options, which is slightly cheaper, and they come with fries and a fountain drink. Uh, so I've gone for chicken strips, the first time it's holiday, and that's gone for a cheese pizza. Uh, so we will have quick bites to eat, uh, and then by the time we finish then, it'll be time for our individual lightning lane for Guardians of the Galaxy. And then we might, depending on wait time for Frozen, we might go on Frozen, or we might just spot, uh, get a spot for the uh, fireworks show of Epcot Frozen. I'm gonna say it, the chicken strips you get from here and everywhere in Disney is better than Chicken Guy. Set it, set my piece. Oh, they're very different types they are. of chicken strips. So I'm but I prefer, I prefer the Disney ones. Yeah. Um, do you want to go on Guardians? Yeah, let's go on Guardians. Can we go on Guardians? Yeah, because I bought us individual lightning lanes. Oh, going on Guardians. Yeah. So. $15 each, but $15 I would happily spend yeah. to be able to ride Guardians anytime I'm in the park. Oh, look, a spaceship Earth. Didn't even notice that. <laughs> Love it. Conga is my least favorite song. Yeah, Conga is my least favorite song. Least favorite. No, 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 it is. No, exactly. And like the only bit is like, come on, everybody, now to do that conga. Da, 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 da. That's the only bit that you really know. And that's like only for a small bit. So didn't enjoy that as much as I have previously. Did it? No. I think the song makes a, a massive difference. Yeah, I agree. It does. For the first time in forever, we're gonna ride Frozen at night. Because the line is only 25 minutes and you can't even see, but take my word for it. <laughs>
our frozen and managed to catch the last finale bit of uh, Epcot Forever, which is uh, good timing. The big fireworks. Big yeah. fireworks, yeah. I like uh, the bit where all around the lake they've got. Yeah, yeah. That's, really cool. They did that in a, uh, Harmonious, and I thought that was really good there. And that'll be the last time we see any fireworks before they. Um, well, like the Epcot fireworks before uh, Luminous starts on the 5th of December. So we're just going to wander around the show, uh, World Showcase now, back to the Skyliner. Not going to be in much of a rush because uh, the whole world and their friend will be essentially doing the same. Look how pretty that is. Christmas tree there as well. The camera really doesn't do it justice. Note all the food places to buy a cookie are shut. No, so no, no cookies for us tonight. It just means we have to buy three on Saturday, Sunday when we come for our last day. Spoiler alert, there was optimistic thinking of us, thinking that we could resist eating the cookies and take some home. This line is crazy. So long. <laughs> it's taken us almost an hour to just get to Caribbean Beach. Yeah, it's the same. It's taken best part of an hour just to get to Caribbean Beach Resort, which uh, is very unlike the Skyliner. It was very stop-start, stop-start, um, slow sailing or flying. Um, and we are on route now back to Pop Century, where we'll be able to call it a night after a long... It hasn't been long, has it been a long day? No, I think we went out of like... Uh, no, I think it was at like 11. So, 12 hours. Yeah. So I just want to say that these cork cool bottles are amazing. They're keeping things cold. So, when we were at Yakinetti at 1 o'clock, we put some ice in the bottle. And I don't know if you can hear it now, but ice is still frozen in there. Like, there's still ice in there which is amazing so yeah would recommend like keeping your drinks cold uh so that will be it for today um i hope you enjoyed today's vlog remember to like comment and subscribe to see any future content that comes out on my channel tomorrow we are going to magic kingdom because we have mickey's merry very merry christmas party um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to split them into two vlogs uh, so have the party as a separate vlog and the day that we spend at Magic Kingdom on its own um, but yeah, remember to uh, as I said, like, comment, subscribe and until next time bye bye